Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, and this is episode 64. Hoping you guys are all doing well. Uh, Today turned out to be a pretty good day for me, more on a personal tip than business. Um, I spoke to you yesterday about the situation I was having with my Jeep. Um, I had to get that Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac ticket converter. My nephew called me to try to uh, um, correct me on how to say it. Hey, man, I still ain't get it, bro. So, anyway, I call it the Cadillac Converter. Uh, I call it right now anything I want because I don't have to buy it. But anyway, yeah, so the bill for that thing was like 900 bucks. Uh, you know, just some things that just don't want to spend money. I'd rather, you know, you know the kind of camera I could get for that, for 900 bucks? I could get a pretty decent looking camera. So, um if that shit ain't gonna stop my wheels of my of my Jeep from turning, I'd just rather not buy it. I don't care. Call me what you want. I don't care. Anyway, so my nephew called me this morning. He says, hey man, I saw that you did, they had you drive 30 miles. You came back, it didn't work. And then I went out and I drove another 30 miles. Again, it didn't work. And what was crazy about it, I mentioned this, is that it was pouring. I like, I don't drive anywhere when it's pouring. I, I can't see. I don't drive it. I try not to drive at night. If I get caught in the night, that's different. But I don't normally drive in the night. Like if I'm going to go to the movies, I try to drive while it's still daytime and then I get caught. It's going to be night when I get back. Okay, cool. I can deal with one way. But now, if it's nighttime and raining, uh, I'm looking. That's that's suicide. That really, that's suicide for me, man. And anybody that's in the car with me. Yo, it's it's a bad scene for me. I'm not comfortable. And trust me, I've done like miles and hours in that kind of those kind of conditions. I've been caught coming from Florida to North Carolina in major storms, you know? So I've been caught in it and thank God I was okay. But definitely, you know, some people love that man. Like I don't understand, man, these 18 wheelers. Why when it's nighttime and rainy, why do they speed? Like, I don't get it. Like, I need to talk to a truck driver to find out what what's the deal with that? Is it, does it sound cool? Like, do they like the way the truck sounds at nighttime with the rain beating down? I don't know. But there's some scary ass trucks. During the day, you got to drive around them because their asses are going so slow. But when it's rainy and night and the, and, and the streets, streets are slippery and little cars are driving around and... They want to do freaking 80 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? It's like, it's nuts, man. Like, I don't understand. So if someone can please explain that one, please do so. Um, but anyway, so I had ended up doing the second 30 miles, went back and still the codes. I think it's like five codes in the machine. And then once you get the inspection done, you, you, can, you, can, you can do it with one code. But I got stuck on three codes. Couldn't do it. So... My nephew calls me up this morning. He tells me, he goes, hey, man, try 50 miles. I'm like, 50 miles? Like, like I might as well just get the Cadillac converter because I'm spending almost $900 in gas by now, (laughs) you know? But anyway, I dreaded it. But I had the morning planned out. Did my ride until about 9.30, almost 10 o'clock. And then I was going to go to, uh, then I went to, um, told, told Angel, get ready make lunch because what she did yesterday she brought some some sandwiches in the car I said hey man make us another lunch we got a little driving to do and um so I just don't even want to do that by myself I, I kind of want her with me and I knew the weather was a little better it wasn't gonna rain it was a little kind of overcast skies but it wasn't gonna rain so anyway I went to the garage first so I figured I'd go have him reset because I wasn't sure I said do I just like leave from the house and start the 50 miles and then go back but then 
my nephew told me, he said, uh, it was, yeah, but you don't want to do, you know, 40 miles, all of a sudden the, the, the yellow light pops on, the engine light pops on, then you have to go get a reset and start all over. So I said, okay, that makes sense. So I went straight to the garage and I brought it in to have a uh, dude um, um, reset it for me. In the meantime, I'm kind of in his ear, man, because eh, I put a lot of money in his, in his pocket and I tip him pretty well. And I was just trying to relate the idea that, man, I really don't want to do this now. I really don't want to, you know, pay for this now, you know. My wife's going on a wedding. We have to pay for that. I'm staying home, but she has to go. And, you know, it's just one of those, these next few months that we have a whole bunch of stuff that we want to take take care of. And I really don't want to spend 900 bucks on this, on this thing that I don't even know what the hell it looks like. So, but anyway, but when I went over there, my mechanic went into a reset everything and he looked at me he says everything's clear like everything it wasn't even like one uh one code like it all went away i was like what and i was like oh my god and man trust me i was praying man i was praying and freaking lighting candles in my mind and shit you know but um i said all right i said cool I said, let's get the inspection done. Like, I want to get this done now. Like, I don't want all of a sudden the code just, you know, pops up. Let's get let's get this ball rolling now. And then, you know, of course, I need my whole oil change. So, and then, um, now I totally forgot to call Angel. So, of course, she was getting up. She had our breakfast, our lunches ready. She had my snacks. And we were ready. We were ready for this little, little, um, little trip. You know, shout out to my wife. Definitely a ride or die. And, um... Uh, when I got back home, she was like, you ready to go? I said, actually, we don't have to go anywhere. I said, we're good. I said, I just did the inspection. I did the full oil change. I just got to sit on the, on the computer and register everything. So she goes, get out of here. So, you know, so that was that was cool. I sat down, ate the little lunch she made. You know, it's the least I can do for her. <laughs> and, um, but, uh, and then um, got on the computer. And then, of course... Um, shit's not doing what it's supposed to do on the internet. So I'm like, oh shoot! I'm like, is the emissions, the 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 the, the inspection is not popping up. It's not. It's not acknowledging. It keeps on telling me that I need to get inspected. So I'm saying to myself, I knew it. I knew it. This dude must have overlooked the code or something. And now I have to, it was too good to be true, you know? So I went, but I had the paper in front of me. So I ended up calling uh, uh, the Department of Motor Vehicle, whatever it was, Department of Traffic, whatever, and um, got on the phone with them. And then they come to find out, they said, okay, cool. You owe like $246 in property tax. And I said, okay, that's cool, not a problem. Still beats 900 and then she says, and you got um, a toll violation. I'm like, a toll violation? Now, mind you, I did go through a toll, but just yesterday. They have those, like those, I don't know what you call them, invisible tolls, man, because one minute it says toll approaching, next minute it says, it tells you how much you were charged. You know, I finally found a little bridge thing. That I guess it takes the pictures and it, it, it checks your license plate. But... That was just yesterday, so I knew I didn't even get a bill on that yet. So I was like, what the hell? So we found the paper, and then sure enough, we see a license plate that we didn't recognize. So they pulled the, reg the license plate for us, come to find out it was Erica's. It was my daughter's. It was on the, on the Beetle that she had. I'm like, oh, snap. So it was like $93. So I went, I paid that, and finally was able to get in and register my damn car finally so bravo on that i was really um i was so happy on that because uh you know it's just i only have we only have one vehicle we have really no need for two we could have had two i think we've had two in the past like even when erica left to germany she left her her bug here and um you know we we could have just kept that on 
just drove that, but we didn't. We, we have no need for a second vehicle. Uh, me and Angel go everywhere together. Or if she's going somewhere, uh, it's usually someplace where I really don't want to go, like a supermarket. And then if I'm going somewhere, it's usually somewhere that she doesn't want to go, like the garage. Or sometimes I have to go to Lowe's or, or Home Depot or something, you know? So, but 98% of the time we're together. So, uh, no, no, really, no need for a second vehicle and extra insurance and all of this. Just unnecessary, you know? Um, I told her if we ever moved to the beach, what I would do is get another Jeep, but I'd get one of those two seaters so that her and I, when they, we don't have the family with us, we could just roll with that one. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, so that was the, that was the deal, um, today. So I'm happy about that. Very happy. Um, and, uh, no, no, uh, oh, <clears throat> I just came in before. I don't know if you guys, I told you guys I have a standing desk, right? I don't know. I got it in my mind that if I stand all day when I'm working, I'm gonna lose weight. I've had the standing day desk now for about six years. I haven't lost shit. So, but it's less wear and tear on my back ankles and knees kind of feel it towards the end of the day but i still i prefer to stand i prefer i'm actually more comfortable but so i came in to do the podcast and what i did is i went to my desk and i had it standing so i put my setup on my standing desk i was ready to talk to you guys standing and i said okay this might be different but i might catch myself moving around too much i, t- I like to pace uh, I kind of bounce like a little kid sometimes when I'm talking, um, and that's not what I want to do. That's why Good Night Freestyle, I want it to be more laid back, a little bit more relaxed, so I opt to sit. So this is really the only time during the day that I sit down, I, I kick back, I turn off the lights, I like to leave just my night light, I mean not my light, my desk lamp, and uh Usually on my screen on my computer, I have some sort of relaxing scene. Like right now, I have um, it's I know I know you guys gotta think I'm weird, but I have an actual video image of it looks like a street maybe in Queens, New York, where the cars are covered with snow. Anyone who was born or raised in New York would recognize this scene right here. So it looks like it was a serious snowstorm. The cars are mostly covered. It's so much snow that it's even in the middle of the street, so the trucks haven't come by to clean anything. The trees are covered, the two sides of the sidewalk. It's a regular, you know, um, one, uh, this is actually a two-way street. <clears throat> so it's a residential two-way street, yeah. And and you can see the snow falling, so, and it's nighttime. So you see the, the, um, the street lamps and you can see the snow kind of falling. So this is the vibe I put myself in. You guys can say what you want to say. Um, I do weird shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Angel walks in here. She's like, what the hell? What the hell are you doing? I'm like, I, I don't know. It's like, I don't, what am I going to look at? I don't want to look at Facebook. I don't want Facebook on open. I don't want any of my work open. I don't want to look at the walls. I don't want to just, you know, I want to, you know, I want some sort of scene. You know, so this is, and I open it up for my my screen, so it almost looks like I'm looking out a window. So it's kind of cool, um, but yeah. So I wanted to, uh, I I chose to, you know, I choose to sit and kind of relax and be in that kind of um, mind frame uh, when I'm doing this podcast. I can relax and try to do whatever I can to open up to you guys and just write really. Um, and, and just so you guys know, this is episode 64. This has been doing wonders for me. I'll be honest with you. Um, and I'm not done yet. I got so much, so much more uh, coming up. Uh, so many projects. So many more trips coming up. Um, there's going to be some experiences right now. You know, everything's pretty stagnant. But that's that's just this business. This business can ride kind of low for a minute. And then all of a sudden starts to peak. Like we start getting real busy. Or crazy shit starts happening. Or like if you guys would have spoken to me a few years ago. I would have been in the midst of a lawsuit. And you would have, you know, I would have had something to talk about every single day. When it came to that, it would have been pretty interesting. But I'm past that, so I won't go back. 
um, that wasn't a, a pretty time. I mean, it was just, I mean, it was okay, but it was, um, who wants that? You know what I'm saying? Who wants that hanging over them? You know? So, but, um, yeah, and I mentioned, you know, so Angel's going on her nephew lives in Florida. He's getting married uh, next weekend, not this weekend, the following weekend. And um, so we just got her her flight. And I can't go because I have to stay with Santana. And um, so uh, I wanted to go. But, you know, I, I kind of think it's cool. Uh, so that way she has time with her, with her family, you know. I know she would rather me be there, but I, I kind of think this will be good. She hasn't been around her family. If she wants to talk and not really a worry about me, she could, you know, she got to go vibe with her family. She deserves that. You know what I mean? She loves her family and they all love her and I don't need to be hanging around. However, however, honestly, I'm going to miss her. She's only leaving. She's leaving Friday. She's coming back Sunday, but I'm going to miss her. It's, it's. It bothers me. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm I'm spoiled. I'm very used to being with my wife. That whole uh, boys' night out, girls' night out. We don't do that shit. No, we don't do it. We just don't do boys' night out or girls' night out. We don't. We do shit. We do it together. You know, uh, boys' night out is for the boys. Girls' night out is for the girls. Uh, we'll do couples' night out, but um, and even that, uh, we don't do that that often. Thing is, with me and Angel, we um. We get along, and we enjoy each other's company. I mean, we're together almost 20 years. We are married since 2007. Um, and we have an incredible relationship. I think it's, it's like, don't think we're up each other's ass all the time. We're not. I'm in my office 90% of the day. She's in the house doing everything that she does there. Or, and, um, but the fact that I know she's next, she's right there, is... Um, is good for me and, and and this is so funny and the reason why I'm talking to this is I watched a podcast called Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson I don't know if you guys ever seen it before if you haven't you need to check it out you know if you was ever a Mike Tyson fan back in his heyday man um, you'll see he's a totally totally different person I mean I loved him back then I love him now I just think the dude is phenomenal and absolutely brilliant this dude is so smart please do not sleep on him <laughs> he is very smart and um, he's very open and um, uh, I model a lot of what I'm trying to do him and I are the same age I think he got me like by two months and um, I model a lot of I appreciate his, uh, I don't even know how to put it. It's not even humbleness. I, again, it's his transparency. Like, he knows he did shit that was horrible and that was might have been embarrassing and might have been hurtful or whatever the case, but he owns up to it. He owns up to it. And he's, he's ashamed of what it was, and he talks on that. doesn't hide it. He doesn't try to lie about it. Um, and there's a, there's, there's something about that, that attracts me. Like I was, I'm like, I got you. I understand. I, I know what you're saying, you know? Um, and, and a lot of his, uh, demons, I had the same demons at one time. So the difference with him is his, he gets to, the only way for you guys to learn about my demons, if I just come out and start talking about it. And sometimes I'm not compelled to talk about it. I'm not hiding it. I'm just not talking about it. On his, in his case, however, he gets asked questions or it might be within a conversation that he's having with his co-host and whatever guest he has. So he's able to, he has an opportunity to open up. I don't have the opportunity. And I never want what I did in the past to be glorified, you know? So but anyway, what I, the point I was getting at was so funny. So he's, I'm watching the episode that he's doing with Sugar Ray Leonard. And some, someplace like towards the end of the interview, right? They, they start talking about they don't like to be alone. They don't like to be. Now, here you got two boxers, okay? Two champions, okay? Who don't like to be alone. And I had to play it back and let my wife hear it because, and she laughs, because I'm the same way. 
I don't like to be alone. I like to be alone, but not alone. You know what I'm saying? Like I could be in my office all day and not even stick my head out. But just the idea, just the thought that I know I could step outside my office and there you are, I'm good. I'm good with that. You know? And, and you know, but I don't like to be alone. Now, when she goes to the wedding, now every weekend Santana goes to her mom's. Okay? So she takes her to work. Again, for those who don't know, I keep we keep our granddaughter during the week because she goes to school here. She's the only only one going to school from her siblings. She's got three siblings. And so she's the only one in school. And we didn't want them going to we didn't want her going to school where they live because it's temporary. And they're gonna be moving and we don't want her bouncing around. So at least here we know uh, we could keep her. So far this is her second year in Puerto Ridge in the school that's here. And um, and hopefully her parents will move closer here so she can maintain, keep going to that school. So, so but every Friday we take her to her mom's and then we pick her up every Sunday. So she spends the whole weekend with her mom and her and her and her siblings, you know. Uh, except next weekend, not this weekend coming up, the following weekend. Um, I I asked, I said, I need you. I said, and she looks forward to going to her mom's. She has friends there and everything that from that from that uh, apartment complex, and she said, "I said, I said, would would you stay with me next weekend?" And she gave me no problem. She says, "Yes, I stay with." She calls me Poppy. I stay with you, Poppy. I said, "Oh, thanks." So it's just gonna be me and her, and uh, so we're gonna drop Angel uh, off in the morning. Uh, we'll drop her off in the morning, and uh, to the airport. And then coming back, we'll probably, maybe me and her will go to like IHOP or something, go have some some breakfast, uh, and then um, and then come home and just, you know, chill out. I'll probably still get some work done, and she'll be at the house doing her TikToks. If you guys have not seen her TikToks, you gotta check it out. Um, and um, but uh, but yeah, I don't like to to be alone. I remember when we first started our relationship. It's so funny. It's so crazy, man. I'm surprised this girl's still with me. But in the beginning of our relationship, when she wanted to go to her parents or go somewhere, I used to act up. I'll be real. <laughs> I, used to, I used to act up. I used to, you know, I'm a Scorpio. I don't know if you guys know. There were two things, two real powerful attributes, uh, traits of a Scorpio. One is very cre- creative. We're very creative people. Uh, second, we're also very jealous. <laughs> we're very jealous. Um... I don't know about insecure. I'm not insecure. I'm jealous. Like, I don't ever believe my wife would leave me for someone else. But I might be jealous if she, maybe he thinks somebody looks good or looks better than me. You understand what I'm saying? So so it's not an insecurity of her leaving me, but more of an insecurity of, you know, like, I don't want my wife to ever think and I don't trust me I'm a fat dude and I, I don't I don't think I'm I'm I don't, I'm far from a God's gift to women way far real far but I want her to think that you know what I'm saying I don't want her to I don't want her to ever think that I don't think that of her you know to me my wife is gorgeous she's beautiful she's smart She's sexy, the whole, the whole, the whole package, you know. And ever since I've been with her, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, I get caught, you know, do a little side eye once in a while. I'm not gonna lie, most dudes do, but it's not lustful. It's more curiosity. I don't stare. I don't, you know, it's just, you know, she laughs. I don't do it to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's, and I don't do it all the time. But once in a while, you might. And it just might be a coincidence. I might just time, turn my head at just the right moment. <laughs> I know most of you girls are probably saying, yeah, right, nigga, okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so anyway, but yeah, I'm, um, I don't like to be left alone. I don't like to be, I like when my wife is home. So it's going to be a long weekend for me. I have Santana, we'll have fun, it's cool. But that's my wife, <laughs> you know. And I don't like to be away from her at all, ever for no reason. Even when she goes to the store, if she takes too long, I call. I get worried, too. You know, God forbid anything ever happens to her, I'll be destroyed. 
I don't even know what I would do. Like, uh, bad, 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 bad thought. I shouldn't be thinking that way. But anyway, so, all right, guys. Um, thanks for chilling out with me tonight. I always appreciate you guys. Um, don't forget to like, share. Check me out on YouTube. If you can, leave me a comment there. That's always good. If you go on YouTube, you'll see there's a playlist called Good Night Freestyle. Log on to there. We also have all the uh, episodes there. I'm also up, um, uploading the episodes on Facebook, also Good Night Freestyle. So you can check there too if you're on Facebook regular. You can go on that one. I don't have anyone who's, people are sending me messages, but nobody's posting. I don't understand. But it's all good. It's all good. Um, give it time, you know. Uh, but listen. Take care. Have a good night, guys. Sleep tight. And until tomorrow, good night, freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.